Okay, let's get into our mountain pose for our warm-ups. Feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Activate your core, so ribs toward your spine and up, shoulders back and down. And just reach the crown away from the sitting bones, sitting bones down toward the floor. Take a few breaths, letting the belly move as you inhale out and as you exhale, sinking in. And follow that breath. So feel the breath coming in, bringing in energy and awareness. Exhaling, letting go of stress and tension. Spread your toes, lengthen your spine, and inhale, arms up to shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch to the front. And exhale the hands around, just gently clasp them behind you. Lift your heart, stretch through the whole spine. And as you exhale, pivot at your hips, bring your hands up toward the ceiling and your head down toward your legs. Lift your sitting bones, move your chin, get the neck released a little bit more. And then lifting your ribs and dropping your sitting bones, wind your way slowly up, keep the chin in until the last, and don't lift it too high as you bring your heart up and your head back. And just stretch into that back bend with the toes spreading out and breathing. Inhale, upright, release your arms. Take a moment, just feel your body warming up. And again, inhaling, arms out. Exhale, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the other way behind you as you press them to the floor. Lift your heart and stretch your head back, a nice little back bend, and exhale, pivot on over. Deepen as far as you'd like today. Spread your toes, lift your hands a little further maybe. And then knees slightly bent once more, wind up from the bottom of the spine, all the way into that upper body back bend. Chest high, shoulders down, and don't forget to breathe. Inhale, upright, release your arms, and just again, observe your response. Side stretches, bring one arm out, palm toward the ceiling, arm above your shoulder. Push the hands away, keep the body facing the front as you lean to the side for that side opening stretch, lateral motion to your spine. To make sure you're not leaning forward or backward, just opening the ribs as you push the foot you're leaning away from down and the head and hands away. And then inhale upright, release that arm. Feel your whole body and get ready for the other side. Arm out. Palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the arms away as you lean to the other side. No twist, getting those ribs opening, the other side contracting. Just feel that motion through your whole spine. And inhale back up, exhale that arm down, and back into mountain pose. Stretch the spine apart for our twist. And relax your arms and bring them to shoulder level. Palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasping your elbows, stretching the spine apart and twisting to one side as you exhale. Take a breath and as you exhale again, pivot on over in the twist. Keep the weight on both feet as much as you can. Lift the sitting bones, keep the arms by your ears and just feel what your body is doing. On an inhalation, come on up. In the twist, lift your heart and go into that upper body only for your back bend. Always remember gentle on your low back in the twists. Inhale upright, exhale to the center and switch your arms, balance things out, spread your toes, stretch the spine and exhale to the other side. Arms still by your ears, weight still on both feet as you exhale over. And again, deepen as far as you'd like to go on this side, spreading your toes, lifting your sitting bones, relaxing through your whole upper body. And then inhale on your way up, 
into that upper body back bend one more time. Take a breath, just relax into it, lifting your heart. Inhale, upright, exhale around to the center. Shoulders down, fingertips up into extended mountain. And then push up on one side, come up on the opposite toe, heel lifted, and the other side of the foot flat. So you really feel that stretch on your side. Exhale it down, inhale the other side up. Again, lifting the heel and stretching through that whole side. Release down, let's do that first side again. Exhale and release, and one more time on the other side. And then bring both arms up, shoulders down. Keep the arms next to your ears, push the sitting bones back, pivot your whole body parallel to the floor. Stretch it out, and drop into ragdoll, just hang. Take a moment and pull in a little deeper if you want with the hands behind your legs or just keep relaxing. And that's hands to the front, winding all the way back up, coming once more into mountain pose. As you get back into your standing position, just take a moment feeling where in your body you're noticing things today. My shoulder. So let's bring the arms to shoulder level. Bend your elbows, fingertips together, elbows still at shoulder level. Pull the elbows back, separating your fingertips, and then back together. And then forward, out to the sides, all the way around, palms facing down as you bring the arms as far back as they want to go. And then fingertips together. And again, pull back a little, and together, all the way out and around, wherever they go, it's your body, don't go too far. And fingertips together, elbows back, together, and around. And back, fingertips together, releasing into mountain pose. Stretch your spine apart and swing gently side to side, following your hands from one side around to the other. Keep the head reaching up, sitting bones down, that spine nice and open for a little twist as you rotate and move side to side. And then back to the center, bring the shoulders up, back and around. And again, into mountain pose, spread your toes, everything lined up, we'll do our balance practice. Core activated, so those ribs toward your spine and up, feeling that lengthening through the spine and support in that lower back. Lift the toes, make sure that you've got the balls of the foot base of the toe area connected, not the toes themselves, as you spread the toes out on the mat. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up, core active. Relax those shoulders crowned at the ceiling. Make sure you don't cross the foot over on the other side as you pull that leg up toward your heart as far as it wants to go. Circle your ankle when you're stable, both ways, keeping things flexible. And again, when you're ready, flex and point it and bring that foot back down. Take what worked, shift it to the other side, educate your body and get ready for your second side. Lift those toes, spread them out, make sure that everything is lined up and the core active. Bring the other foot up a little or more or toward your heart. And again, pull it in only as far as it wants to go. And when you're stable, work that ankle. Take a breath, exhale. Flex and point before you put the foot back down, getting things aligned once more. Hands to your heart, shoulders down. Inhale, hands toward the ceiling. Bring the thumbs back into the back bend, lifting your chest and stretching your head back. Hips still over your ankles. Exhale, hands to your heart. Pivot on over, drop into right dog. Slide your hands up under your knees, stretch and straighten halfway up. And exhale back down. Straighten your knees, 
Straighten your spine, bring your arms out to the sides, right at shoulder level, pivot on up. Keep those arms at shoulder level as much as you can. Turn the palms toward the ceiling. Bring the hands overhead together and another back bend, following those thumbs with your gaze, lifting your heart. And exhale again, mountain pose. Take a moment getting your positioning and noticing what your body is telling you. We're going to bring the chin into that notch at the base of your throat and do our neck circle. So bring your head over to one side, lift it toward the ceiling, neck, chin up, sorry, and around to the center, over to that other shoulder, back down, circling to your chest. Keep everything relaxed through the shoulders and lower body as you circle one more time to the side, up, around, and over to the opposite rolling to the chest. Take a moment there, just relaxing, and circle the other way. Chin toward the shoulder, up to the center, over to the other side, down to the shoulder, rolling to the middle. One more time that direction, just feeling the circle as you go all the way through that rotation. And when you get back to the center, tip your chin upright, crown to the ceiling, shoulders back and down, sitting bones toward the floor, core active, arms out at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, look up and stretch those fingertips high. Bring your shoulders down and then lift your heart higher, keep those hands separated, that shoulder width as you pull them toward the back, lifting your heart and back straight. Head to the front, turn the palms out, bring your arms down and back to where you started. Clasp your hands, press the palms away at shoulder level. So the palms are pressing out through the heels of the palms. Bring the hands straight up toward the ceiling, still pressing out through the heels of the palms. Bring them over to one side, bending your elbows, back to the center, over to the other side, back to the center, palms out to the front, and release. Take a moment, finding your position, and then clasp the fingers the opposite way, and again, press the palms out. So that's shifting those fingers one position out, so the other fingers on the outside. And again, bend your elbow this time to the side and back up to the front and over to the other side and back up to the front and up toward the ceiling. Just keep pressing out through the base of the palms and release the hands to shoulder level and to your sides. Circle the shoulders, forward and back both ways, and release. Bring one hand out, bend the elbow, bring that arm right into the middle of your nose. Other arm out at shoulder level, swing it under, eagle arms, see if you can bring those palms together in front of you, fingertips near your nose. Pull the elbows down and in. If you can't do the palms, remember, do just the back of the hands. Elbows down and in, feel the stretch across your shoulders. And then push the elbows out and raise the arms as high as they want to go. Take a breath. Exhale, deepen. Keep those fingers at the middle line of your body. Again, take a moment and breathe. Feel what's going on across the arms and shoulders and release, flying your ego away. And back into mountain pose. Again, feeling what's going on through your whole body, especially those shoulders. And the other arm comes out, palm to the middle, bending your elbow, bring it in. And the other arm, palm down at shoulder level, fooling it under, 
And again, see if you can bring the palms together or the backs of the hands. Elbows bent down and in, thumbs near your nose. Fingertips up toward the ceiling, just relax through the shoulders and then push your elbows out slightly and raise the fingertips toward the ceiling. Feel that back of your body giving a little more stretch. Exhale any tension through the arms and shoulders. Take a moment and breathe. Feel what's going on through your body. Relax things as much as you can, even as they're stretching. And once again, lie your eagle away, just swinging those arms and getting a little more circulation through the shoulders. So good things to do after you've had those vaccination shots. Take a moment back in mountain pose, finding your position, bringing your hands to your heart. Inhale, hands toward the ceiling, another back bend following those thumbs toward the back. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivot at your hips, drop into ragdoll. Just hang a moment, chin tuck slightly in. Slide your hands up under your knees, press elbows, knees, and spine straight. And then bending your knees, let's transition to the floor. Child pose, hips back on your heels, hands, palms up. Exhale forward and relax. Take a few breaths there, just releasing and relaxing any tension. Stretch that back of your body really well. And inhaling, sit up on your heels, slide off, bring your legs out to the front and to the end of the mat in staff position. Get that core activated, spine straight, crammed to the ceiling, push out through your heels, toes pulling back, relax the back of your legs, and use the core for support as you lower to the floor. And once you get down, just take a moment, recline integration, let those shoulders release and relax. We've worked them quite a bit. Soften your belly. Toes slightly toward each other, and then just let them relax, feet hip width apart. So pressing the back slightly down, sitting down slightly toward your heel, we're going to draw the right leg up toward your chest. Just pull it in as far as it wants to go. Exhale any tension. Keep the other hip down, and the leg straight, or if it's really tight, you can bend your knee and put the foot flat on the floor with the knee straight up. Take a breath. Pull in that leg that you're clutching toward your heart. Relax. Remember, let that whole joint area for your hip release any tension. And then let the leg pull out. You can hold your ankle and just bring the knee out to the side, kind of figure four only without the other leg. Take a moment and breathe. You can push that knee slightly away if you want, or slightly down toward the floor if you want, just noticing what's going on through that hip joint as you do it, being gentle, of course. And then bring the knee back in toward your heart and pull it tighter. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale. Let that other leg completely relax. And well, both legs relax as you pull this one in, let it relax as well. Deepening, breathing. Exhale, release that leg. And as it gets back all the way out, notice the difference on your two sides. Take a few breaths there, just relaxing. And again, sitting back slightly to your heels, back gently pressing down. Draw that other knee up toward your heart. Pull it in as far as it wants to go. Keep this leg bit straight out with the hip going down. Or if that's too tight for you, you can, of course, put the foot on the floor with the knee bent straight up, not out or in. Toes up toward the ceiling if that leg is still extended out. Take a breath. Pull that knee in toward your heart a little bit more if it wants to go. Exhale any tension. Hold the ankle and the knee. Rotate that knee out toward the side. Feel that hip working. Oh, of course, don't go too far. 
Keep this other hip down as much as you can. Take a breath. And again, you can push that knee slightly away or down a little further toward the floor if that's working for your hip today. Just let everything release and relax rather than tensing and tightening because we want it to go where it needs to. And then rotating that knee back in toward your heart, clasp around it, and again, pull it in toward your chest. Take a breath, just gently letting that other leg sink down, relaxing as much as it wants. And when you're ready to release that, just let it go back out next to the other one. And again, notice how those hips are working. Just gently let them go. Sitting bones toward your heels, knees bending, draw your heels up toward your hips, be flat, knees straight up, and then draw those knees all the way up toward your heart. And again, just clasping around the knees, pull the knees toward your chest, toward your heart. Let the back of your body relax down. Let those hip joints release as you pull in. So relax while you're doing it. Don't tense and tighten. You can exhale and bring your forehead up toward your knees like our appreciative yoga hug. And feel that whole back of your body giving an extra stretch. Take a breath. Just exhale and release any tightness. And then if your head is up, bring it back down, pull those knees maybe a little bit more. And then as you exhale, bring the feet to the floor, heels right next to your sitting bones. Bring your hand, hands out to T position, palms up or down, and we'll do our bent knee twist. So if you like a lot of work in that lower back hip area, cross your leg over, otherwise keep the knees next to each other and bring the feet off the floor. Exhale, roll over to the opposite side, turning your head toward the arm now behind you. Shoulders down, hands, palms up or down, your choice, and knee coming over toward the floor. So that lower back hip area is working as you bring those knees over and across. And that shoulder area should stay on the floor for that middle back twist, and your head turned for the neck twist. Always only as far as your body wants to go, always personal practice. Take a breath, exhaling and relaxing into the twist, and always on your own, hold the twist longer because it does your body even more good. But for now, just bring your heels toward your hips, and roll onto your back. If you cross your legs, uncross them, and cross them the other way. And of course, we're going to balance the body and twist to the opposite side. So either knees next to each other or a leg crossed over, draw those knees over to the side of hip level as you roll your head toward the opposite arm. Again, take a breath, exhaling any tension, palms up or down, your choice. Just keeping those shoulders on the floor for that whole length of your back to twist. Head turning for your neck as much as your neck needs to twist or wants to twist. And of course, knees coming down toward the side for that lower back hip area. Take a few breaths there. Again, just breathing and relaxing as you are in your twist as long as you'd like to go. Deep breaths. Exhaling any stress or tension, just letting it go. And as always, Heels toward your hips and rolling onto your back when you're ready to release. Uncross the legs if you are crossed. Push the back gently down as you slide those legs out for right at hip level. Turn the toes toward each other. And then just relax your feet hip width apart. Bring your hands near your hips, palms up. Let the shoulders roll back and down into the surface beneath you. Letting the heart open and the spine release into its natural position. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, let the shoulders and hips and everything go. Lots of work through your whole body today. So just allow everything to release and relax, deepening into that earthbound connection, fully supported by Mother Earth.
And as your body relaxes deeper with each exhalation, just let it go and allow your mind to release thoughts of your body as well. As those thoughts release from your mind, know that other thoughts will come to you. Remember, it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, just let those thoughts drift away as easily as your breath, flowing in and out without awareness. And as your body keeps relaxing and your mind floats more freely, just allow your awareness to turn inward. Find that peace within. Feel your body. Feel your mind. Feel your being only with peace. Keep relaxing if you have that opportunity today. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. Moving those hips and legs, rotating the shoulders, and breathing more fully, and stretching more completely whenever you're ready to do so. And whenever you're ready for that yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, feel those heels toward your hips and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around however feels good for you. And if you like that back of your body stretch, exhale and bring your forehead up toward your knees as well, giving that back of your body a good long stretch again. Take a breath, let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And if you love that stretch on the back of your body, you can stay there even longer. Or if it's time to release, head and feet to the floor, roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for your day today. Thanks for joining me.